morning, everybody. Uh, we call this thing meeting to uh, order. I mean, we'll welcome our guests, our elected official today, Carl Michael. Good morning. Anybody else? Okay. Boy, won't you open yourself with a prayer tonight? Okay. May we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon us. Dear Father, we thank you for the freedom you give us in this country to gather and to express ourselves and to govern ourselves. Dear Father, we ask that you grant us wisdom in the decisions we make. We ask your blessings upon this county and upon all its inhabitants. We pray this morning for those who stand in harm's way to defend our freedoms, whether it be here or around the world. We ask that you bless them and keep them safe from harm. Dear Father, we ask for your peace, for the peace of Jesus Christ in our lives and all the things that we do. We pray for our country. We pray for our leaders. We pray as we go into a presidential election season. Dear Father, that you would give each of us discernment to make a decision that will help to select a leader who will run this country in obedience to you and to our principles. And all these things I ask in your name precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, anybody want to hear the minutes from last month? Have I already read the minutes? Well, you need to make the note to correct the minutes. It says May 20th. So. Yolanda wasn't here last week, so I had to do the agenda. So, <laughs> so that should be the uh, July 15th. I make a motion to approve the minutes for July 15th. I second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Who's going to do the FBO report this morning? Who's going to do it, Blake? Uh, apparently, we don't have an FBO report this month, so we'll just put it. Yes, I um, wanted to just bring you up to speed on a couple of things real quick. Uh, first, uh, our Georgia Airport Association annual conference is coming up uh, October 14th to the 16th. It's going to be down in Savannah this year. So, uh, as always, uh, I'd like to extend an invitation to the Airport Authority board members. Uh, if you're able to attend, uh, don't expect you to be able to dedicate three days to it, but if you've got a, a day that you can come down and participate in the, uh, in the annual conference, then uh, I invite you. Uh, Chairman Austin has been down on Friday morning, which is uh, typically when the uh, statewide elected officials come down on Friday morning to do kind of a, a state of the state for aviation and uh, transportation and funding and that kind of stuff. So that's always very, very interesting and very informative. But uh, I'll get the agenda for that conference out to you in the next couple of weeks. It should be available so I'll get that out to you. Uh, next, want to uh, just continue to update you on, on the wildlife issues out at the airport. Uh, we do continue to see uh, increased numbers of uh, deer, increased number of turkey, and uh, another wildlife on the airport. Uh, Monday morning, we did have a, a corporate jet that came in, and uh, we did have to actually hold the jet uh, and take off position for a couple of minutes while we went out and uh, shoot some, some turkeys off. So that he didn't, uh, have any issues with sucking a turkey up into an engine. So, um, also along, that, along those lines, the uh, uh, U.S. Transportation Research Board is having a uh, webinar on September 9th on wildlife, controlling wildlife on the airport. So, we'll be participating in that webinar so we can hopefully get some ideas from the uh, U.S. Transportation Research Board on um, maybe some more current uh, updated methods of doing that. And then uh, lastly, the environmental assessment continues to make uh, good progress. Uh, chapter 1, 2, and 3 have all been submitted to the FAA. The FAA is giving feedback uh, on all of those chapters, so we'll continue to make, make progress there. Is there any questions on any of those things that we've to address? I got one. Uh, is there a lot of hunting out there? Um, yes and no. Uh, we don't allow hunting to the open public, so. Uh, we don't allow just anybody to come out there, but uh, certain times of the year we do have uh, a couple of folks that we allow to come out. Uh, we have uh, two individuals we allow to come out and, uh, and work on the turkey problem. We have a couple of individuals we allow to come out and work on the deer problem. Uh, 
but obviously right now is not deer season or turkey season. Uh, so we are uh, looking at other methods to try to control those right now. Right. All righty. Everybody had a chance to look at the budget. Uh, why don't you take a second and explain the budget? Uh, absolutely. What you have here is you have uh, the FY15 budget in the left hand column, and the right hand column you have the post FY16 budget. So we'll just go from the top to bottom. I won't hit every line because uh, I don't think it's necessary, but I'll just kind of hit some. some points. Uh, we do anticipate fuel flowage fees to go up. We anticipate more traffic at the airport. Uh, the governmental funding is our is our intergovernmental agreement with the county. Uh, that funding per contract reduced from 400 to 375. Uh, most everything else pretty much stays the same other than you'll see the IBA funding uh, has been deleted from this budget. Uh, that's due to uh, IBA's, uh, IBA not receiving any funding from County this year, so the IBA's budget is a whole lot tighter than uh, what it has been in the past. So uh, they're not going to be able to do that contribution at this point in time to the airport. Coming down to expenses, you can see pretty much most things stay where they were. Uh, we've got some, some line items that we had to kind of shift around based on the changes that we made last year. Uh, one of those being the leased employee that is uh, Yolanda. We have the lease contract with the chamber to provide her funding. So that was previously covered in, uh, in payroll expenses, and uh, you can see down at the bottom, payroll expenses have been reduced, at least employee expense has been created, and then employee uh, benefits has been reduced. Um, I don't know if you all recall me talking about this last month, but those numbers were all kind of divided up between, uh, between a couple of different things last year. We had uh, June for part of the year, we had uh, May for part of the year, and then everything switched over in October. So it was a lot more confusing than what it needed to be. So this cleans those things up, makes it a lot more streamlined, makes it easier to follow. Uh, budget should be much easier to, uh, to explain to folks. So hopefully moving forward. Uh, moving on down the list, you can see. One second, we you yes. just mentioned Judy, but we're glad to have her back. She went through some health scare there. She came in while we go to speak to everybody, but we're, we're going to kind of have her out of the list on that health issue. She's doing much better. Glad to see her. Glad to see her up moving around. Um, moving down to accounting, you'll see that accounting has gone up some. Uh, that's due to the fact that the company that did our audit last year has notified us that they don't have the capacity to do that this year. So we've got to go out and find a new firm to do our audit. Uh, so far, the proposals that we've gotten in have been substantially more expensive than what we made last year. So we know our, our cost for our audit is going to go up. Uh, we are still looking at uh, other proposals and, uh, and other folks to do that. So if you know someone who uh, does government audits, then you'll let me know and I'll be glad to get in touch with them. Um, you can see our legal fees have come down. Uh, hopefully our legal activity is ramping down some. Uh, that's what it seems to be doing. So uh, you never know what uh, might come out of the rabbit's hat, but uh, uh, hopefully those fees are, uh, are easing off some. Um, Moving on down towards the bottom, everything else is, is pretty close to what it was in, in 2015. Yeah, these minor tweaks that we've made up and down of two or three hundred dollars here and there are based on you know actual expenditures for 2015. So we take our actual expenditures and, and we adjust our, our FY16 budget based on those. So uh, you can see this is pretty much a, a zero balance budget with uh, $31 left uh, at the end of the year. So if there's any questions, I'll be glad to address them. Oh, engineering and survey. Why is that such a big figure this year? Well, we've got uh, in the in the actually the very next uh, agenda item we've got is uh, our contract with Michael Baker to do the environmental monitoring for uh, year nine. Um, and I can go ahead into that explanation if you'd like. Um, in our original environmental assessment that was done back in 2005, one of the requirements that came out of that environmental assessment is that we do. Uh, monitoring of water quality and, and streams and fish around the airport for a period of 10 years. So we're now into year nine, and this contract with Michael Baker is coming to us. In the past, this contract, of course, was going to the county. Because the county was, was a funding entity with the airport department. Now it's coming to us. And so uh, this contract for uh, environmental monitoring is uh, just under 50000 
$49,902. So that's the vast majority of it right there. Right. Any other questions on the budget?
they, they generally do provide their own medical support. I've, I've not seen one of these before where they didn't have somebody there. Uh, we can communicate with them to make sure that they're going to have it with the uh, family alliances. They've done these things before, it's not at the airport, so I think we probably they, they know who, who they need to have there as part of the Now, where does the funds go with this um, alliance? What is that for? I mean, um, I couldn't tell you specifically, Kevin. They, they've been around for yeah, a long farm time. Farm the Alliance, but they do family support programs. Um, so it's based in last uh, night. It's previously in Howard, and uh, it's a 501c3. It's uh, very well known, very active. Charles is on the board. No, not on that board. I'm on the cost. Uh, moving on to uh, the next event, which is uh, the sewer comment uh, flip on the flight line. Uh, this is the second one of these that has been done. Yeah, they did a, a movie showing out at the airport uh, last <coughs> um, Seems like to me, if I remember correctly, they had about a thousand people or so there. Uh, went very, very well. Uh, this year they are making it a, a little bit, a little bit larger than what they had uh, last year. They're going to have food trucks out there this year, so I think they plan to have about 15 or so food trucks, and uh, they're expecting. You know, probably double the number of folks that are, that are attending, so you may have 2,000 people out there for this. Um, it is geared towards families, and it is uh, complementary to what all the County Parks and Rec Department does. You now they do their movies during the summertime over at Mount Tabor Park. They've started doing some movies here out in Veterans Park in front of the facility here. So this is really complementary to what the county is doing uh, with their uh, movie program, and uh, I know it has been coordinated with Parks and Rec Service to make sure that uh, you know we're not not competing in any way, shape, fashion, or form, but it does complement what they're what they're doing. So if there's any questions on that, we'd be glad to address those. Uh, there's one quick question. They do know about fire control, don't they? They do know about fire control, and uh, they uh, already have their uh, fire uh, their fire team together, and they will do this uh, as you can see on the event here, it's going to be on a Saturday night. They have a FOD team that will show up Sunday morning at 9 a.m. to the FOD walk. So we will keep a portion of the ramp closed from Saturday afternoon until Sunday morning when the FOD walk is completed. Once the FOD walk is completed Sunday morning, then we'll open, open the ramp back up. And this has been coordinated with the Falling Jet Center to make sure that it's not going to inhibit their operations. Uh, very rare for us to get much traffic on Sunday morning. Uh, is it the world calling up sensors? Uh, that is uh, some, to be honest with you, I, I don't have a lot of information It's an on that. immense um, company out of here in Baldy. Oh, uh, they're, they're doing the food truck portion of this, so uh, they have some experience with doing events with food trucks. So they're, they're a group that's bringing in the food trucks, and then uh, Silver Comets folks are handling the uh, the movie with the movie? Uh, I don't know if they've decided on the movie yet or not, to be honest. Jazz, I got It's home. It what? The movie Home. It's a children's movie just released earlier this year. It's about a little alien, kind of Lilo and Stitch like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bring your grandkids out. Yeah. Go ahead, that's right. Who's going to be in last year? Yeah, I think everybody enjoyed it last year. We got a lot of good feedback from it. Uh, the last one that I've got is um, is the badges for Bristol, and this is actually being sponsored by the Pauline Jet Center uh, in conjunction with the county's uh, fire department. Uh, this is a, a fundraising event that they're doing uh, for uh, for a child who has some, some health issues. Uh, the event is going to be um, car show and uh, in a food event, so I think they're possibly looking at doing like, some, like a barbecue for golfer or something like that, but uh, uh, the portion of it that they, I think, already have uh, already have pretty much set up is the car show portion, and they're still working on some of the other details for this, but it, it is a fundraiser, and uh, again, this is a non-profit deal. All, all three of these are non-profit things. So it's for the child of a firefighter. <coughs> Uh, my understanding is this, this could be kind of an all-day kind of thing. Uh, 
they don't have a specific time on here. I don't think they have a specific time set up, but I think they're kind of looking at it as an all-day kind of thing. Want kind of a drop-in, drop-in each day for an hour or two, and kind of thing. So what are they going to hold that out? This is going to be on the uh, the large ramp that's to the west of the terminal building. So that, that large ramp area that we've got where we <coughs> set up most of the uh, food vendors during the air show. Okay. Uh, that's the area where they'll be utilizing it for. Any other questions on that? I'll address them if you can. I move to approve all three applications. I'll second the 789. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. I need a motion now to go in close session to trust real estate and litigation. I move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Exactly. Excuse me, gang. I move to return to uh, to adjourn executive session and report no action was taken and return to regular session. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Anybody got any comments or questions about the meeting today? Move to adjourn.